All right, what's going on, guys? Knight here. We're back with another episode of Danganronpa V3, and we're going to find out if everyone has lost hope or if we're going to fight back again. I'm thinking it will be the latter, but what do you guys think? Well, we're going to the dining hall, because I believe that's where we're supposed to meet, because it's time to eat. Eat, eat, eat. Everyone was in the dining hall besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The light had gone out of their eyes. Everyone here looks terrible. Really? Even I look terrible? Well, your face always looks like that. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? Huh? What? I want to go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Okay. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Is that a flashback light? Oh, it's time. Um. Maki, why do you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. It was just sitting there? Kokichi probably just put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps? If we use that flashback light, we may recover memories that co corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us? We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but... We should check this flashback light first. Huh? What? Uh. Why do we have to do that? Because... It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're gonna die, we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So, let's do what we can. Well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. So when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. That's decided. Kibo Shuichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yes, very fine done. Very well done. Uh, okay. It, yeah. And thus, it began. It was decided, fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Hey. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Maki switched on the flashback light. And at that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. Now I'm gonna miss these.
That's it. That's it. I remember. Everything is connected. And we have forgotten. We have forgotten that everything is connected. Oh, <laughs> God music. <laughs> it all started at this, at that academy. Oh, that's Hope's Peak. A government-based school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Oh, let's fucking go. Hope's Peak Academy. And the events that tore that school apart changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Let's fucking go. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half of the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. Yes, sir! The ultimate despair, Junko Inoshima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. Oh, it's the crew! Let's go! The killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peaks Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. But after Junko Inoshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. But Jinko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done selling chaos. Oh, let's fucking go. The Future Foundation fought against them trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. Oh, what's this music? What the hell? One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Oh, a virus? Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then, Makoto Naegi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. I knew my boy would be back. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and the 16 Hope Speak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was the last in that. It accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy.
From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly across the world. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. But we just happened to be immune to the virus, hmm? That's the reason we were chosen for the Gopher Project. I finally remembered. Oh, no fucking way! <laughs> that world, this world, it's all connected. Right, she has That's the good scenes. Oh, the cut music again. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Everyone, do you all remember? Yes. Yes, I can vividly recall everything now. I guess. It, yeah. Why? How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. We were the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of humanity. Except for one person. That punk. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. They were the remnants of despair. Well, let's go. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Hmm. It's so obvious. A killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Despair would replicate that killing game. Which means... Which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mirrors hope and dark despair. Got a minute? Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why would why did Kokichi abandon it? That's also something the remnants of despair would do. They admire Junko Inoshima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us despair, but he got bored of that plan. Wanting to feel despair of your plan being ruined, that's the ultimate despair for you. What's wrong, Maki? So what? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay. Are you sure? But... We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Uh... Even if we got out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone! No! We just need to become that hope. Let's go, Kibo. What's wrong? Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? If I must. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? 
world has left a 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. That no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what it's urging me to do. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I'll move forward with hope. Uh, okay. Kibo. Listen closely. Right now, there's no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. I see. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new Hope Speak Academy, rebuilt as the symbol of hope. Yeah. If we the students of Hope Speak give up, the world really will plunge into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm gonna live till the end and never give up. Let's go. We won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Hmm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. Let's go, Emiko. <laughs> You guys. You're right. You're right. Let's do it. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. Yes. As long as we stand together without giving in to despair, we'll find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We all felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, a tree of life with roots down deep. Those supporting each and every one of us. Yeah. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope. Uh. With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. Kokichi may have left that flashback light to make us give up. But if that was his plan, it failed. Let's go. It's true. It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey. Ah, so, what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kokichi? That's right. We gotta stop you know who. <laughs> the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito too. Let's go. You're right. Yeah, of course. You're right. He's so stupidly positive, he's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. With Kaito by our side encouraging us, then even if we're the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I knew that. Even in a situation like this, he would think of something. The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaito? Wouldn't they be in the Exosol hangar? It's okay. They're in the Exosol hangar. Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped in there, but... Okay. By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? By chance? Really? Right, right? 
I bet the truth is you were worried about Kaito and watching the hangar all day. Oh, Maki Blush, let's go. Looks like that was the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. I, I just had nothing else to do. Also, I'm used to watching other, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop it. Stop, stop. We're just getting mushy, but you have to make it all bloody instead. <laughs> 100%. We know they're in the Axisol hangar, but how do we get them out? By the way, the hangar had a, has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. And there's also an electric barrier, right? You would need to do something about that too. Yes. Yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm too. So many problems right from the start. What should we do? It's okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Ooh, let's go. Does she have an idea? Uh, um. How do you plan to get past the alarm system and the barrier? With the electro hammer. Oh yeah, it should be more than 24 hours, so they should be recharged now. Well, if you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock on the exit to the outside world. But, it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Oh. Ah, is that... <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb though, even if it's called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with the electronic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris to behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to sell for the electro hammers. But what, what, why do you have that, Maki? There are only three, and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> I stole it from his pocket. Let's go. Okay. During that time. As expected, your kleptomania and glaring stare are both first class. <laughs> kleptomania? Uh, 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 that terrifying, the terrifying stare par glare part was a joke. So, can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Thank you very much. Nice work, Maki. We can use that electro bomb to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it will disable all communication. Okay. That should include the remote control that Kokichi uses for the exosols. 100%. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it will also it should affect the entire hangar. 
then Kokichi will be as good as butt naked. All he's be able to do is hold his crotch and run. Right. <laughs> Where did this come from? No. But he might still be able to control an exosol from the side. Oh my. But naked? No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. See. Then we should bring the electro hammers as a precaution against the exosols. Mm. Eh, dang. I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. But I did too. Mm. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer. So we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? We're gonna wait until tomorrow morning. What about the hangar? Uh... Uh, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Maki, I know you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary. But we shouldn't try this t until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. That's true. Fine. That's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait! No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... That punk. But if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. Oh no, Maki. No. But you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we'd feel bad after we killed him. Don't. It would be no different than the killing game that has caused us so much suffering. Yeah. Yeah. That's the sort of thing that the ah. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that the remnants of despair or Kira would do, bruh. Is that a death note reference? Okay. But Kaito said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine. If everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well... But it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Oh. Wow! Maki's actually reliable! No. No. She's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. <laughs> If a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Did, did you see those eyes? They're like a predator looking at its prey. Well. Uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. Come on, man. Himiko can't make jokes. But it's true. That is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's all thanks to Maki. While we we're said Cedrary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. Ah, of course. If I pointed that out, she would ask me if I want to die again. Got a minute? What are you looking at? <laughs> Come on, we're friends. Sorry. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. Hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Let's go. Uh, okay. It, we, yeah, right.
We finalized our plan to get into the access hall hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we should wait for electro hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up focus and determined. Oh, do we still have free time? Right. First, we need to charge the electro hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity, they're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. No, that's not true. There has to be something I can do. All right. Right. I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaito. He's hurt and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll go. Alright, so I, I just have to check out the hangar. What is that delay? It's the boy Kibo. Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. Um. He must rescue Kaito, no matter what. If we were to defeat despair and find a new hope for ourselves. I'm certain we'll need him by our side. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's all it's thanks to Kaito that we're all working together again. Alright. Let's save Kaito and stop Kokichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. Alright. Time to skedaddle. Yeah, the courtyard's down here. I mean, not the courtyard, um... Where our boy is. Could it be? Did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Okay. Yeah. I guess. I was the same. I couldn't stay still. This morning, that this morning, I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki, who was so tsundere in the beginning, is now the one pulling us along. <laughs> I mean, Maki's still a tsundere. Um. But it's probably because of Kaito's influence. Huh? Huh? Why do you think that? Um. Huh? Why? You can tell just by look. Maki's interested in Kaito. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Uh, okay. Ah, it, yes, I suppose that's true. Nice, I called that too. Huh? Huh? Are you shocked? Were you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Bruh. <laughs> uh, um... oh, oh, no, it's not like that at all. Yeah. Wow, I didn't mean to shock you like that. <laughs> I just meant to mock you about Maki. Um... I wonder. 
when we were at HomeSpeak Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. Well, we were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends like that. But... Even if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. I'm going to keep living with confidence till the end. Let's go, Samugi. Um... That's my vow, as one of the last students of Hope's Peaks Academy. Oh, I sure went back. I'm sure Amiko had something to say. If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi's in the hangar, there's a good chance the access also are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. It's a stealth game now? Just walking around Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? This is the first time I'm seeing them in a while. Are the Exocells protecting them? But why now? But why all four of them? Kokichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the Exazals are here... They're guarding the hangar! This is my chance! I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four exosols. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar. Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Ah. Oh. There's a window. The bathroom window? Can I see inside from there? I peeked into the small window and saw a silhouette on the other side. <laughs> ah! What are you doing here? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Kaito! Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Yeah, stupid. Uh, is he close by? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning. We're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... 
I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Let's go. <laughs> Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. Let's go. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just, I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. Oh, no. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Wait, while you're gone? Don't you dare say that. Don't you fucking dare say that. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Oh, no. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only going to wear you out. When times are hard, you got to rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. I don't like this music and these words. Kaito, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. Oh, Christ. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I returned to my room. Hmm. There's no point in wandering around. I just stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself in the right mindset for the final battle. Well, I was meditating on it. It became nighttime before I knew it. Uh, um... We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaito has taught me. All right. I have to do it to live and find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep in my heart.
Oh, what the? <laughs> Don't panic! Just stay calm and listen! Well, if you're watching this Monokuma theater segment, it's already too late! You kids might not know, but it's a 100% cotton mascot like me! Hope is well! The thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive? Watching their hope fade away? There's nothing more spare inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other, it makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. <laughs> After that empty announcement from Monofilma, I jumped out of bed. Alright! Alright, here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Alright, with that, I think we'll call it an episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Maybe in the next episode we will see Kokichi dead by daylight, but if not, he might be dead by nightlight. So until then, see you in the next one. So long, bear well.